Hi, my name is Gary Shoup uh, with Traff Data. Um, I want to show you today uh, an app that I had developed for uh, the iPhone and the iPod Touch specifically, uh, and it will also run on the iPad. I've received some inquiries on how it works, and uh, I wanted to give everyone a, a demonstration on video, so uh, you can get, come to a better conclusion if you think it'll fit your needs before purchasing it. Okay, uh, first, uh, what I want to do is uh, I'm going to walk you through the software on the iPad as, as a demonstration tool. All right, here's the splash screen. and There's the menu. You'll see at the top you have a intersection count information, business information below it, then intersection geometry, then counter interface, begin counting and data output. Uh, this is actually, if someone's not familiar with the iPad, uh, it's zoomed up twice the screen. Uh, I did that so everybody can get a good look at it. Now uh, let's go to intersection count information first. Here, uh, just standard information that somebody's going to enter related to account. You'll see date, it's self-populated. Uh, day, which is self-populated. Yeah. North, South Street, U.S. Street. Uh, let me show you. Let's say I want to enter North, South Street. You'll see uh, uh, this keyboard come up below it. This is how it works. So you can enter the information there. East West Street, let me just put down in here. The default was Lover's Lane. Uh, business information here. Uh, I have some information already in here. Um, something you need to put in here, and not forget, is the default mail location, which um, is going to be where you're going to send the mail to. And this is important for the output that you're going to send. So in this case, you're not dealing with any cables to download anything. Um, you just set up your email accounts and any of the hardware you own, and you transfer the files through Wi-Fi or uh, 3G. Intersection geometry, um, this is a little bit of a different take on the turning movement counters. You can choose three-way or four-way intersection. Uh, here, I'm going to just run through the three-way. Uh, gives you four different options. Uh, the arrow you see point to the left is going to be the north. So uh, I'm going to stick with four-way right now. I'll show three-way uh, afterward. Uh, counter interface. There's two counter interfaces. Uh, you have the classic interface and you have the hyper interface. Uh, we'll start with the classic interface, which is button-based. The hyper interface is, is gesture-based, uh, something I actually prefer. Uh, and and it's, it's a new take on it, the turning count boards. And then uh, you begin counting. Uh, I'm actually going to count on the iPhone, which it was designed for. Uh, I'm showing it right now on the iPad. Uh, I only got this iPad just a few days ago. It really wasn't set up for this. Uh, and I'll, you'll see why in a few minutes. But uh, it's pretty nifty looking. Uh, the Classic actually works pretty well. Uh, the volume's down right now. Let me fix that. It wasn't designed for this. So I didn't know where the rocker switch was located on it. And uh, I'm going to jump in here with my, my iPhone just to show you a similar screen and how it works. So um, with the classic one, you're, you're just going to touch the virtual buttons on here. And hopefully everybody can hear this. I'll turn it up all the way. And you're going to hear a little click when you're counting the traffic. Now something I wanted to be able to do is classify trucks rather easily than using like shift buttons. So what was implemented here was a quick double tap and you can hear the counter actually say truck. 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 So I'm just classifying trucks there. And I wanted to make it a really intuitive and easy way to classify trucks. Um, the double tap has to occur within 0.3 seconds. Uh, something that uh, during the design, tried different times, tried 0.2, tried 0.3, went with 0.3, is the greatest, uh, it's what I went with. That's the best way to answer that. Uh, if you've got three through lanes approaching an intersection, uh, say a left turn lane and a right turn lane, you may get taps, multiple taps within 0.3 seconds and, and over classify uh, a truck. 
Um, you can't shut off the classification in this version. Um, the hyper interface, I'd say, goes away with that issue. Um, but it's something that has to be looked at. Um, but I think people will like it and it's worth trying out. In addition to uh, the vehicle trucks and, and the cars, uh, obviously have pedestrians crossing the street as I'm showing there. You'll see, let's say, I, I'm dragging between the pedestrian symbols my thumb to show which street they're crossing and it's going to timestamp it. And maybe it's better to show this actually on the iPod iPad. You hear that? I'm just pointing in the direction which street I want to cross. So that's the classic interface. Uh, everything's getting time stamped. Uh, it's going to separate it into 15 minute bins later on. I'm done. I'll hit end. It's asking me, it's kind of completed. I'm going to say yes. Okay. So that's the classic interface for you at a four way intersection. Okay. Here I want to show uh, the hyper interface. Let me make sure I got the, have that active. And uh, with the hyper interface, uh, it's a new take on a traditional turning movement count board from the standpoint of uh, instead of pushing or tapping buttons in order to register vehicle movements, uh, we're actually going to use finger gestures to uh, record vehicles. Uh, similar to how uh, I used finger gestures with the, the classic interface. So uh, this is how it looks. I'm, sh I'm just blowing up the screen on the iPad. It was designed for the iPod Touch and the iPhone. and uh, Spend a lot of time on this interface, and uh, what you do is you just move a finger, specifically your thumbs, in the, the direction you want traffic to move. So if I do eastbound through movement, westbound through, northbound, left turn, just slide along the side. Um, it will register if you actually follow the intersection. Uh, it takes a little bit longer to make the movement. I'd recommend just following it along the sides works really well. Really intuitive, quick. Um, one of the main reasons I came up with this interface was uh, you don't get the tactile feedback that you do with the traditional counter with uh, the classic interface. And I wanted the user to get that feedback when what direction was being counted. So if one uh, drags their finger in the direction of ooh, the vehicle moving, it, it, it registers. Um, to register a truck, you do a multiple tap and then just put it in the direction that the truck's moving. Um, very similar double tap. Uh, if you do more than two taps, it works fine and you just have to do at least two taps in the direction. Uh, pedestrians are, are registered the same way. Uh, I guess I can mention something I didn't indicate in either interface. You can use all peripherals that iPhones and iPod Touches uses. You can hook in the audio jack. You can use cases, yeah, I haven't done it, but you should be able to use a Bluetooth connection in your vehicle if you wanted to hear these movements over your car stereo system. Um, this interface works really well. Uh, one thing it doesn't do well and uh, debated a lot of this during the design was uh, this status bar here. You'll see uh, communication type, time, uh, the power strength, and, and uh, how much power is in it. Um, if you start the gesture on the status bar, it's not going to register. You have to go a little bit off. Uh, I debated whether to include it, not include it. Advantages and disadvantages either way. I'm kind of inclined to get rid of it. Uh, I wanted feedback from users on what you think is a good idea on it. So uh, that's the interface for uh, the gestures. Uh, I also said I'd show a three-way intersection and I'll quickly show the output. Uh, I'm running down in time here. It says it's kind of three, let's say three-way intersection. Let me go to a, a three-way configuration really quick. Let me do classic. Begin counting. Uh, this is a three-way intersection. Uh, basically, it's taking away some buttons. It would also take away some arrows also. Same idea. Buttons are spaced a little differently. Output here, uh, you can check on my website at www.traffdata.com under apps turn count uh, you email it. there's three file types uh, established for each data collection um, you'll have a UTDF file which can be imported directly into a traffic signal timing program um, you have a CSV file where it's timestamped for each event and you also have an HTM file which will show the output that was generated